Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to let's play so we can in on the Sony PlayStation. Last time, we finished up Nick Lord's castle, beating him. He was actually the first tough, real, or first real tough boss we found so far, so that was pretty good. And then I had to refight him because um, Victor ran away with my blinking mirror, which made me kind of sad. So, oh well. Uh, let's just put this magic rune piece to use. Uh, let's give it to a... Tengar, because she actually has pretty high magic there. Uh, higher than Cleo by a little bit. So yeah, we might as well give it to her to use. And I never realized, but uh, Flick also has pretty good magic. Not bad, actually. He actually has pretty good stats. But yeah, let's just uh, use this thing real fast, because it's there. Okay, or I could use it on myself. That's not quite what I was going for, but eh, whatever. Uh, anyways, I'm over here because we have a sound setting, so I want to turn that in. You can see what our new window sound is. Okay, none of these are all that great. So we're just going to stick with the normal. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. And then I think I have some paint to give to the painter. So we'll go take care of that real fast. And we'll figure out where we got to go from there. I don't think there's anything else that I have. Yeah, the paint right there. Um, some other stuff I can put away. I'll put some of this stuff away on my way over there. And I'll see you guys at the painter real fast. Alrighty, let's see if we get anything for this green paint here. You haven't found the color you're looking for yet. I have some green paint. Okay, there we go. So there's some additives to it. That's great. I'm guessing there's going to be, like, maybe two more colors, it seems like. Uh, maybe th three or four. And I noticed how I'll give it the green paint. They didn't actually, you know, put any green in the painting there, but, eh, yeah, whatever. Let's see, off the top of my head, from what I remember, I can see, I think that's Gremio up top, there's Pawn on the bottom, um, on the left that looks like, that looks like, um, the girl is always bitching about money. Oh no, the guy on the bottom is Victor, I think the guy up top is Pawn, and then, I think that might be Odessa at the top, and some of these are too blurry for me to actually see anything, so, oh well. Okay. Let's get out of here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and change up my party just a little bit. And then I'll meet you guys after that's done. And then we'll start getting places. So I'll be right back. Okay. I thought something was different here. I think our castle got upgraded again. So I didn't actually get the party that I was looking for because, well, as far as I can tell, the castle seems to be at level 4 now. And I got distracted because I noticed, well, a couple of things, actually. One, I can't really find the guy that I'm supposed to change my party members with. I mean, I know he's, I know the general area of where he's at, but I just gotta figure out where he's actually hiding at. Anyways, um... I think we can actually put those ancient books to use. Primarily because I saw what looked like a library. So let's go grab those. But first, let's see if there's anything else over here that I missed. Um, okay, this is the teleport spot. That's great. That's all the same. I don't think we ever actually put anybody in this prison here. Okay, that's fine. And yeah, I don't have my dash rune anymore since Pawn ran off with it. So, oh well. Okay, off to the left here. That's where I was going to look for stuff. Uh, over here is... I think all this stuff right here is the same. At least as far as I can tell. Yeah, this is like all the rebel 
stuff. Or, um, not rebels. Uh, yeah, like the pirates and stuff. Okay. So we don't need to be over here. By the way, if I'm a bit quieter than usual, it's because my damn throat's acting up and, well, I'm trying to not be too talkative because, well, the damn thing just won't go away. It's just been a tough cough season. Not, it's not even a cough anymore at this point. It's just the damn extra sore throat if I talk too long. So, yeah, I think that's just the old army general area. Yeah, that's where the sound guy is, so we're not going to go over there. Okay, I wonder how much actually changed, because I don't know how much is different. It doesn't look like too much different is here, besides, like, the library. Yeah, that stuff is still there. Over here is probably where the Ponton family are. Yeah, so that didn't change any. I think it's only a couple minor changes at this point. And let me rest up real fast just to check something. I want to see if Tengar actually is... Yeah, Tengar actually does have better magical stuff. Oh, and I put that uh, rage rune that we, that we found on her just for shits and giggles for the time being. Yeah, she, she's weaker than Cleo by a little bit. Yeah, about 50 points weaker physical attack wise and armor isn't as good and speed isn't as good but the magic's a little better so I think I'm going to put her to use for just a few levels just for shits and giggles see if she and Hicks have a combo attack or anything like that I don't think they do but eh. um, yeah I put the the rage rune on there and so what happens is you get rid of the bottom spell and then everything else moves up and you get yourself a final spell there or a fifth spell in the fourth slot. I guess they haven't figured out how to just give you five spell slots yet, but okay. Okay, you, I want to grab all these books. Because I think there's a library to get. Let's see. One. Two. Six. And eight. Yeah, we're, we don't have all of them, that's for sure. But oh well. I think that should be everything that I care about. Yeah, okay. So that's all that stuff right there. And then down on this floor there is still the bathhouse. Still you guys. All of you guys. And out here is just where all the warriors and elves and stuff hang out, right? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like the upgrades to the castles only offer, like, minor things after a certain point. Actually, I don't know how many more levels of the castle there are, so... Oh, well. I do recall looking through the little recruitment list there that at level 4 you can start recruiting a few other people. So that's also something very nice. Okay, this is your little your map. Which I don't think we could ever look at, can we? No. Let's see, here's our painter. Oh no, I do not want to play a game with you there, Georges. I, I, actually, I don't know if the S is silent or not. I'm just going to call you George. Because, well, George is sounds eh, a little odd. I guess it's decent, though. Okay, yeah, I was thinking... Neither of these guys change your party members, so... I don't know where that ran off to. Yeah, this guy right here, he has a little library. Looking for something? Uh, well, I have books to give you. Okay, yeah, they're readable. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll let you guys read all this stuff, so I'm not trying to kill my throat at the moment. Uh, 
that's a cool little backstory on like how the runes are formed and stuff like that. That's actually pretty neat. Yeah, I've actually read about these in the little instruction book where if you put your certain elements together, you get extra powers or whatever. But I never actually have anybody with multiple compatible elements for that. So I'll try to do it at some point, but we'll see. Interestingly, interestingly, interestingly enough, in order to go right on the page here, you have to press left and then vice versa. So I don't know. I guess it's probably because in Japan you got they lead, they read from left to right or not left to right right to left instead of left to right like they do here. I guess this might be like a way of saying, hey, this is where some of the people are. That's what it seems like, at least. Or just random people. Oh, there we go. A nice little bit of uh, backstory there. I'm, ass I'm assuming we'll eventually find the other four books. Yeah, now I just got to figure out where the heck I go to change my party members again. Because I'm not terribly sure of that at the moment. Yeah, because these guys, they don't do anything party change. And the guy that the guy that I like to go to, the one that's supposed to be right here. Actually, you know what? He might be. Yeah, I think he's in the war room. Okay, that's probably what it was. I was thinking, where's this guy at? But well, I think I can go for this guy, can't I? No. I guess not. Well, let me see if I have any cronies hanging out along the passageway to my room yet. I never have any lackeys over here. I mean, I always get my own private area. Oh, and looks like the bed got upgraded a little bit. Like, I th I'm pretty sure the bed used to be over on this side, didn't it? Eh, whatever. I don't come into this room terribly often, so I'm not terribly sure. Yeah, it looks like the level 4 upgrade didn't add a whole lot. Okay, that's Apple. We don't care about you. Unless they added like a sixth level or something that I haven't seen. Yeah, here's the fifth area. That's fine and dandy. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the other area is. Okay, let's talk to these guys first. Welcome back, Master Tier. It's good to see that you're well. It was a major accomplishment to liberate the Lormor region without the use of troops. According to Kasumi, Kasim Hazil has been placed in charge of northern defenses and is presently building up his forces. The Imperial Army's forces are nearly 8,000 strong under Kasim Hazil, another 6,000 soldiers in the floating fortress of Shazarazade, and 10,000 troops in and around Imperial headquarters. With what we've got, Kasim Hazil's army is all we can handle. The only way we can win is to unite the rebel forces around the country. I happen to be an old friend of Joshua, commander of the Knights of the Dragon's Den, whose domain is in the west. If you plan to befriend them, well, I'll come with you. The Dragon's Knights have always rejected imperial jurisdiction, preferring to maintain a neutral status. 
Should they join us, our forces will be formidable. But I must warn you that Joshua is a proud man. The only chance of an alliance is for you, Commander Tyr, to visit him in person. Tyr, if you're going, so am I. Uh... Yeah, let's go meet him. Alright. The Dragon Knight's domain lies northwest of the Liberated Ante, formerly known as Beer Blanche. And, of course, we got our mandatory party members. Humphrey. Uh, okay, let's see. Humphrey, I have not leveled you up at all. So, I'm going to have to take care of that. Yes, yes, good luck. Forces grow in number every day. Yes, they do. If we can convince the Knights of the Dragon's End to join us, we'll be powerful indeed. Okay, that's great. But can I get my party member changer back? Because that'd be fantastic. Okay, there he is. So I'm going to figure out my party real fast. And then I will be right back. What are you guys doing here anyways? Oh, it's just you, it's you two. Well, maybe he's just not that great of a fighter. Who cares? Okay, Matthew can do it too. So, I think I am going to take... Let me see. Come on. Uh, I think I am going to take... Hicks. And... Wherever she went. Uh, where are you at, lady? Tengar. And then we need either a medium or a long range. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what our choices are here. We got Cleo, which I'm thinking about taking just for the magic. But at the same time, I want to try somebody else every once in a while here. Camille, I don't really care about you. Taiho, you're not bad, actually. Was it Taiho or is it the other guy? Curl Mimi, I don't care, Kirkus. You have the Earth Rune. You know, I might take you, actually. Just for the fact that we could try the... The combo attack of the Fire and Earth. Let's see, Valeria, you're also pretty good, but you're short range. Huh? I'm not really trying to deal with that at the moment. Um, Eileen, I don't know how well your... I don't know how well your stats will grow, so maybe, maybe not. Stallion, I could use you for the true holy rune, but you're just not that good. Oh, that reminds me. I never actually did check between Kirkus and... Uh... Who was it? Kirkus and... What was his name? The other elf. Was it Ruby? Okay, so Ruby, you have 145 magic, whereas Kirkus has 144. Let's see, 109 power, 190 attack. So. Kirkus seems to be slightly physically stronger. Uh, let's see, 753. 753 at a slightly lower level. I think you end up might be you might end up being slightly magically stronger. Uh, let's just go with let's see where let's see somebody medium. Or large, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh Yeah, screw it. We'll take, we'll take Kirkus along for a little bit. Or... Actually, no, yeah, let's take uh, Valeria. Because we can always just put um, Tyr in the back row. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to go upgrade a couple of weapons here, and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, that's all taken care of. Uh, I switched out um, Valeria for Ruby 
because I realized that uh, Valeria was short range and I would have had four short range characters. So, oops. Uh, I gave Ruby the Earth Rune there. So, there's that. Uh, let's see. He's yeah, pretty average. He's not, not great, not bad, just like uh, Kirkus. So, he does pretty good. He has more magic than uh, Tengar right now, simply for the fact that he has emblems equipped, whereas Tengar, for some reason, can't equip emblems, so I don't know. Anyways, uh, we could go ahead and... Oh yeah, I also leveled up Humphrey and Ruby at the Necord's castle there, so it took about 10-15 minutes, so I like the grind in this game, it's real fast, real easy. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and do some recruity stuff, since the level 4 castle seems to unlock some stuff. Uh, looks like, let's see, um, apparently I have to go back to Necklord's castle anyways. Yeah, I'll do that, like at the end of the episode or something. For now, let's go to Rakan, and let's see, I think they said, yeah, and Tay's the next place we actually have to go, but I'm not going to bother yet. Okay, so Rakan, we want to find him at the inn. It says he's random. Oh, here we go. What are you looking at? Something wrong with my appearance? Sure, we'll recruit you, why not? Leader of the Liberation Army. I'm just pe passing through this land. Not that I have a particular destination. Maybe I'll find a clue here. What? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Okay, I'll give you a hand. Yay, we get Clive. Okay, then we got to go to, uh, let's see, the Cave of the Past, and, okay, I don't know if we actually have to go to, like, the past, or just the Cave of the Past, hopefully just the Cave of the Past, and not actually the past, but we'll see. And then there's a couple other places to go. But let's start off with some of the more irritating ones here. Where was the Cave of the Past? Was it uh, Kulan, I think? I think it was over here in Kulan or Kulan or however you want to pronounce it. Yeah, so I think we got to go down over this way. The question is, how far is this guy? Hopefully he's not too far. It doesn't say where he's at. Hang on. Oh, it says, uh... It says he's in a secret passage. You know what? I'll just cut away until I find him. Alrighty, I found him. I think we saw this guy previously, we just couldn't do anything with him. Ho ho, you found me. I didn't think anyone would, would come here. Recruit me? Hmm, might be nice to enjoy a little sunshine after all this time. Alright, Crowley. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I am actually going to head over to Nekord's castle and take care of that real fast, so I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, uh, he was in this little... Go away. Uh, I... Secret passage over here. Yeah, it's kind of a pain to find it, but... Yeah, yeah this little area comes out from this little pedestal section right here. So it shouldn't be that hard to find, actually. Anyways, I'll be right back. Necklord's Castle. Ho! Okay, before we get to Necklord's Castle, I think I found my new party member here. Crowley. Ooh, look at that magic stat. 200. 9, 8, 7, 5 mana right there. The speed's not too shabby either. Ooh, what's up? You got the Cyclone Rune, so I think that's the upgraded Wind Rune. So, yeah. This guy's coming in the party. Uh, what about... Clive that we just recruited actually Clive my good sir 
240, 141. For power and attack. Good speed. You actually seem like you're pretty decent as well there, buddy. Uh... Yeah, you're not too shabby. Like, you're certainly better than, like, Hicks or something like that. So I think I'm going to drop uh, Hicks and Ruby at the moment. I mean, yeah, they're... Uh, I'm going to drop Ruby simply for the fact that uh, Tengar's natural magic is higher than Ruby's enhanced magic. Therefore, she has more MP. I actually did look it up uh, a minute ago, uh, just for shits and giggles. Um... Uh, you do get your various mana points at various, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, magic levels. I think for... I think for level 2 magic, you have to have like 140... Or, or two, uh, 2 level 4 MP, you have to have like 140 magic or something like that without equipment. It doesn't take equipment into account when you get your magic points. So yeah, I think I'll... Uh, who's faster actually? Let me see. 137... Yeah, I'll drop uh, Hicks and Ruby and grab those two, and then I'll meet you guys at the tower. So I'll be right back. You know what? On the way up, let's see if we can't show off one of these uh, um, combo attacks here. Let's see. Tengar, you have fire. So I don't know if it's the fourth level magic or the fifth level, but I'm going to go ahead and do the fourth level. So explosion, which we haven't even seen yet. And then Crowley. Uh, Storm, which again, we haven't seen. And then you attack uh, the Unicorn. I thought that these were supposed to combo together. Fire and wind, right? It might, it might have to be the fifth level, I don't know. Well, there we go. Uh, there's the magic spells for those, at least. Oh, yeah, and uh, as for Clive and Crowley, uh, Crowley, the magic user, he has a short-range weapon, but I'm keeping him in the back because, well, he doesn't have that much in the way of defense, so, oh well. And Clive, he has a long-range weapon, but again, I'm keeping him in the back because, well, we already have three front-row users. Well, Tyr's a middle user, but still... Might as well have a powerful back row character. He's only slightly weaker than uh, Flick and Humphrey and, and Tyr there, just by like 5 to 10 points. So it works out pretty good. I like it. Nice, powerful physical back row character. He has the Holy Rune, just to make sure that he can have, we can have the dash ability. So there we go. Anyways, I'll keep on going, and if I have a chance for the level 5s... Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can't... Did I go the wrong way? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, let's... Okay, let's try the level 5 here. See if that does it. Okay, Final Flame. And Shining Wind. Okay, let's try that. Okay, apparently, apparently I'm missing something here. Okay, but Shining Wind, that's a really good attack right there, because it apparently damages and heals, so that's really nice. How much did that actually heal for? It looked like it healed for pretty much most of our HP. That's actually a really good s spell then. Okay, anyways. Alright, top level of the castle here. And it turns out that uh, fire and wind are not a combination. It's like fire and earth, fire and lightning. So, yeah. Oh well. Anyways, talk to this guy. Pismerga. Hmm, I thought that if I pursued Necklord, I'd run into Uber. In any case, I never thought that anyone could defeat Necklord. Well, let's recruit you. Why not? Let's do it. Liberation Army? So you're defying the Imperials? Hmm, alright. I understand that he's now part of the Imperial Army. Okay, cool. We got ourselves a Pest Merga. I don't know how good you're going to be, but we'll figure it out. 
Uh, and yes, I brought escape talisman, so I don't have to... What do you mean you don't respond? You mean I brought these escape talismans so I didn't have to walk out of this place, and you're just going to make me walk out of this place anyways? Because if so, that's a real dick move game. Uh, feel free to let me use the escape talismans here, guy. Because this is a big-ass castle. And how the heck do I get out of here? Oh. Maybe you have to be on, like, the ramparts here. I don't know. Dick move game. Real dick move. Alright, Piss Mirga's stats. Pretty decent powers. Attack seems a little low, but it might go up with uh, his weapon being leveled up there. Uh, skills average. Defense seems pretty good, and his armor seems not too shabby there. And then the speed seems kind of average. I might use them, but for now I think I'll stick with what I got. Okay, so our next destination here is... Actually, let me see something real fast, because i got to check this. Okay, I think actually we're going to call it here, and the next episode we'll do some more recruiting. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.